What is up people, this is YSHQ and in this video I'll be making my own hacksaw frame. So there are multiple frames available on Amazon and in your local hardware store but I thought I could make one and hence I did. So what I'm doing over here is that I'm, measure, uh, I'm laying out the hacksaw with the frame. So the main three components that I'll be needing is the first thing is the hacksaw the next thing is the wood and the last thing is PVC pipes and some extra material as well. Sorry for that weird autofocus but the camera was acting up. The camera being the phone. Now what I'm doing over here is that I'm spacing the hacksaw parallelly to the wooden frame. And then I'll be setting the PVC pipe in the way I want it. And I'm making a few blenders over here. But this is what just I did. Next I'll take the PVC pipe and mark it for both these sides, the back and the front. Then if you see the wooden frame properly, then it has a slight angle and that I made purposefully before this video. Then I added a few extra centimeters or millimeters in the start and then started cutting it. Doing the same for the other side as well. Next, I'll be cleaning the top and bottom. There is a bit of sanding and filing. If you see over here, it's pretty much clean. Next I'll lay in the hacksaw frame just for reference. Then I am marking out these points over where I have to drill holes to mount it to the wooden strip. I'm leaving about 2 inches of space on the top. Now I'll mark out the cutout for the bottom. Now the bottom has to house the hacksaw. So what I'll do is I'll make a snug fit cut for the hacksaw. 
which will be right there. What I'm doing over here is that I'm taking the mark perpendicular to the point where we mark to drill the holes to mount the PVC pipe to the wooden frame. Then I'm marking out the height of the hacksaw, the width and that's it. Now let's cut it again and drill holes. Out of the holes are drilled. I'll try a rough mountain. Wrong pipe. So yeah, if you see over here, the hacksaw fix uh, what do you say slides in easily. The back part cut out is, is still remaining, which I left as I wanted to drill out the holes on the wooden frame as well. So for this, what I did was I grabbed up, uh, I grabbed my Phillips head screwdriver. So we can focus. Now the head. The size of this screwdriver is the same as the size of the hole and hence I'll just punch it through and mark the holes on the wooden frame or the wooden support. Now if you see over here, I'll be just cutting out cut through in the PVC pipe so that the outside remains the same and the wooden frame passes through it. Now if you see over there, I marked out the location for the hole and now I'll be drilling it. I'll be doing the same for the back so I won't be showing it as it is a repetitive process. So after the assembly what I did was I tied a string across and used a metal bar which is a lighter to tie this string tightly which would create tension and hence the saw would not flex. If you see over here I used the small thin saw. Now if you look over the construction the, in the top I used a nail which holds the whole PVC and the wooden frame together. For the back I did the same and if you see over here properly, the, the wooden frame passes through the PVC pipe. That is the cutout which I was talking about earlier. And in the top I uh, screwed in some screws to tie the string. So over here, I'll be showing you how to replace or install the new hacksaw. Now I previously installed this, now I'll be installing this new one or the thicker one, which has teeth on both the ends. So look, it'll go like this. So what I'll do is I'll just Take the screw, these are long screws and these are the only option as I didn't have anything else long enough to pass through the PVC pipe. Then I just pass the screw through the hole in the hacksaw and then fix it onto the other side of the hole. Same goes for the back side as well. Now these hacksaws, are, uh, these hacksaws come in standard sizes and hence they would not be a problem for this frame. The back screw installed as well. Now we'll go on to the top. Now if you see over here, there is a bit of bend in the hacksaw and a lot of flex as well. 
So to remove or eliminate all of that, what I'll do is this is a lighter, just to be sure. I'll just place it inside the thread or the string and rotate it. What this does is that it pulls the string together and hence creates a lot of tension. If you see earlier, it was a bit easy, but now I have to use force to rotate it. Now if you see, there's a lot less flex. So that's done. The hacksaw frame. Now I'll now I'll be using this frame for a future project video which you'll be seeing sometime in the future. So stay tuned for that. So thank you people for watching this video. Like this video or dislike it. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. Go through my other videos. And see you next time. Ta-da!